Hey guys, it's fall and it's one of my favorite seasons because this time of year is when we get our squash and I love squash. And the one that I'm gonna to use today is butternut. Um, I love the butternut squash because when you cook it, it tastes a little bit like buttered potatoes um, to me. And we're gonna, today, we're gonna to make a butternut squash chip. So we, we just need three basic ingredients. The butternut squash, we're gonna use coconut oil, and saw. The first thing we're gonna have to do is to trim the stems and to peel the skin off of the butternut squash. There's a little trick most people don't know is most people they when they peel they go one direction but these are made to actually go both directions. You actually double or triple time your speed of peeling by using in both directions. Now that we're done trimming and peeling them, we're gonna cut them here, and then we're gonna take this piece and cut it in half so that I can scoop out all the seeds. All right, now we're gonna cut these in really thin slices. We wanna have them about an eighth of an inch thick. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut all these up. The next step for our butternut squash chips is I have some coconut oil and I have to melt it. So all I do is I take about two tablespoons, throw it in the, on the baking sheet, and then while the oven is heating up, we're heating the oven up to 375 degrees, I just put it in here until it melts, then I'm gonna bring it back out. I throw a little salt into the coconut oil to infuse it with the, the salt, and then I coat the butternut squash chips with it. All right, now the oil is melted. We're gonna add a little bit of salt to that. The particular way of doing this, I just salt it up. And I can take my chips, and I just kind of Look like this, right across the tray. Kind of rub them back and forth, get a little bit of the oil on them. And we're going to pull them back into the oven. Okay, we got our chips all ready, and we're going to put them into the oven. These are going to be in the oven for about 20 minutes, and I'm going to turn them after about 10 minutes. All right, our chips are done. I ended up uh, cooking these a little bit longer. It took about 10 minutes longer than I initially expected, so that might be something that in the future looks like it's gonna be more like a half hour cooking. But let's take a look at these. Notice how they're just a little bit crisp. And let's give them a little bit of a taste. Hopefully not well, it just makes these. A little bit crisp. They got a little bit of that butteriness that butternut squash is known for. Delicious. Well, thanks for watching this video. And if you want more instructions on how to do this recipe, just look at the description below. And if you liked it, hit the like button, comment, and share it with your friends. And we'll see you in the next video.